The great physicist Richard Feynman once said, what I cannot create, I cannot understand. And here at the University of New South Wales in Sydney, we're trying to realize that by building a quantum computer atom by atom in silicon. With our latest results, we've just got closer to that quest. Our approach relies on precision placing single phosphorus atoms in silicon and using the electron spin on that phosphorus atom as the quantum bit or qubit. For the first time anywhere in the world, we've been able to observe interactions between the electrons on two of these qubits. And this is the precursor to the entangled state that we need to build the quantum computer. So we place two qubits, one made of two phosphorus atoms and another one made of a single phosphorus atom just 16 nanometers apart in a silicon chip. Using electrodes that were patterned onto the chip with similar precision techniques, we were able to control the interactions between these two neighboring qubits so that the quantum spins of their electrons became correlated. When the spins begin pointing in the opposite direction, they will swap their spin states and when measured will always point in the opposite direction. However, if they're pointing in the same direction to begin with, no interaction will occur between them. According to theory, the two qubits need to be separated by, at most, 20 nanometers to see this correlation effect, but we found that it only occurs at 16 nanometers apart. In our quantum world, that's a huge difference. This has really been made possible because not only can we place the qubits with atomic precision, but we can actually see where we've placed them afterwards. We use a scanning probe to directly measure the phosphorus atom's wave function which tells us its exact physical location in the silicon chip. So we can put our qubit where we want it in the chip, see what we have made, and then measure how it behaves. We can add another qubit nearby and see how the two wave functions interact. And then we can start to create replicas of the devices we have created. So we already hold the world record for the longest lifetime of a spin qubit in silicon. And we've demonstrated we have the lowest electrical noise atomic scale circuitry to connect to that qubit. With all those components now coming together, we're perfectly poised to build a high fidelity two qubit gate, the fundamental building block of a scalable silicon-based quantum computer.